I have over a thousand products in this store, but there's no way to actually tell exactly how many products I have. If I click this uh, checkbox up here to select all products, it will select 50 products because that's how many are on this page. Now, if you have less than 50 products, that's actually a quick and easy way of getting a product count. If you have say 40 products, it'll say 40 products selected. Now, if you have more than 50 products, unfortunately, it just says select all 50 plus products in your store, but it doesn't actually give you the number of how many there are. So luckily, there is still a way to actually access the product count from the back end of Shopify. And you do that by changing the URL. Let's delete this last part. So we're just on admin slash products. And now I'm going to write slash count dot JSON. Okay, that will take me to a page that shows me the count of all my products. Okay, I have 1241 products in store. So that is the best way to get a full count of products on your store. Now, it doesn't work when you're on a product page and, and remember to delete this last part, it won't work if you add it afterwards. You can also do something similar on individual collections. So I have a collection here which is boys, boys clothing. And I'm going to go into this collection. And we have slash collections, and then we have the collection ID in the URL. And after the collection ID, rather than slash count.json, I'm just going to write dot JSON. This is going to give me the raw view of this collection. Okay, so we have the ID, we have other information, like the collection rules. But we also have this part here, which says products count. And I have 267 products in this collection. So that's pretty easy, isn't it? That's all there is to it, really. There is actually another way to check the amount of products that are available on your store. Now notice that I say available, this is important. Because if you go to settings, and then sales channels, you can see how many available products there are. Now that means products that are not out of stock and products that are not drafts, um, but are actually active products and so on. So it's not it doesn't give you the full picture, but it might still be useful to some people. Now let's go back to collections. And you'll see that I have only two collections. But if you have a large amount of collections, you can actually add slash count dot JSON on the end of this, on the end of admin collections, and it will show you how many collections you have. So if you have lots, that might be useful. And lastly, as a quick bonus tip, if you want to see how many customers you have, how many people have ever purchased something from you, you can add count.json at the end of the admin slash customers URL, and it'll give you a count of customers. So that's all for today. I hope that helped you become more efficient with Shopify. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Good luck.